Caden. And I'm Sean. And welcome to this week's edition of Lancers in the News. We have a ton to get through this week, so let's get started with some club announcements. Attention all girls who code club members. Please be sure to attend club meeting today at lunch time to learn about the artificial intelligence and also experiment with AI drawing tools. There is also some important information regarding the free summer workshop programs. So stop by today at lunchtime in room 109. And speaking of meetings, Ahmad's BSU will also have a meeting on Thursday, February 16 at lunch in room 501. We hope to see you there. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And Latinos Unidos will be selling chicken tostadas at our Valentine's Day picnic. Two tostadas for $5. Hey, does anyone need a little extra help with their classes? If you do, then you're in luck, because CSF members are available in the library for anyone who needs tutoring. They will be available before school Monday through Friday and after school Monday through Thursday. Lancers, colleges are still visiting our campus. Next Tuesday, a representative from Seton Hall University will be visiting our campus. Please see Mr. Scott for a hall pass. I've heard that some of our students have heard back from Cal State. That's right, and one student recently took a tour of Cal State Long Beach. Good morning, Lancers. It's currently 8.50. Um, Ray and I are here at Cal State Long Beach to give you guys a campus tour. State University of Long Beach, commonly known as Long Beach State, was established in 1949 by California Governor Earl Warren to serve the rapidly expanding post-World War II population of Orange and Southern Los Angeles counties. Since then, CSULB has grown to become one of the state's largest universities. The CSULB campus is 322 acres and is located three miles from the Pacific Ocean. CSULB even has a Japanese garden located right by the student dorms. The Japanese garden is very relaxing and really transports you into a different environment away from the busy life as a student. Ew, that one just pooped. <laughs> Ew, you swam in it. Long Beach State competes in NCAA Division I in 18 sports teams and plays competitively in baseball, cross country, softball, track and field, women's tennis, and women's soccer, as well as both men's and women's basketball, volleyball, water polo, and golf teams. CSUOB has 84 buildings and 63 academic departments with their top five majors being business, family studies and consumer sciences, psychology, communications, and sociology. Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? Um, wait, I wasn't prepared for this. Hold up. With a 47% acceptance rate, CSULB is one of the best value schools in the state with low tuition fees, high social mobility rate, and earning potential after graduation. When you have a chance, come check out Cal State University of Long Beach. I promise you will not be disappointed. This is Leila Alcibar reporting for The Lance. Also, do not forget to take advantage of our February school-wide service drive. Donate five non-perishable food items and earn an hour. Food items can be dropped off in your math class. Our community appreciates the generous donations. We would like to give special information to all seniors regarding the Kairos retreat. Hey guys, it's Claire Morales here, and I'm here to remind you that February 13th is the last day to sign up for Kairos. In honor of signing up for Kairos, if you're still feeling a little bit uneasy, here's some seniors with their stories on how Kairos went. Hi, my name is Mary Marin. Hi, I'm Julian Press. And I think Kairos is such an amazing experience that I definitely recommend to others. It was just a way to get away from school and from doing schoolwork, as well as building a strong relationship with Christ and also a strong relationship with my peers and friends. It was a very great experience that I do recommend others sign up for. Um, I got to grow closer to my faith and purely focus on God. Hi, my name is Josh Rodi, and I'm here to talk about Cairo City One. Cairo City One was really a fun experience for me. I got to disconnect from uh, everything that was going on in my life and uh, it helped me renew my relationship with Christ so he can help me through all my ups and downs. It's an experience you guys do not want to miss out on. Did you sign up for Kairos already? Yeah. Are you ready for Kairos? Yes, of course. Should everybody sign up? Yes, and I don't know why haven't they done it. Isn't it February 13th? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, she's prepared, she's ready. Yep. Okay. Bye. Now, I think it's time to check in with Madison and Adrian for this week's sports. It's Adrian and Maddie here to give you this week's report on sports. A busy CIF week that we had regarding our Lancer sports teams. On Wednesday, girls soccer kicked off their CIF playoffs right at 3.30 against Bonita. They celebrated a win with a score of 2-1. They will now be advancing to the second round of playoffs today against Chino Hills. Good luck, Lady Lancers. Additionally, Wednesday night, the boys basketball team played their first round of CIF playoffs against La Mirada. They lost with a score of 46-66. And yesterday, boys soccer kicked off their CIF playoffs at 3.30 against Harupa Hills. They won with a score of 2-1 to and will advance to the second round against Orange Lutheran tomorrow. Girls basketball played their first round of CIF playoffs against 29 Palms. 
They won with a score of 71 to 61. They will advance to the second round of playoffs, which is tomorrow against Moreno Valley. Good luck, Lancers. Lastly, today is CIF individuals for your Alma wrestling team. Good luck, Lancers. That gives you all the coverage on this week's sports. Back to you, Cadence and Sean. Thanks, guys. Wait, one of the most major sports events is happening this weekend. That's right, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Yo! It's Friday, y'all. Wake up. Dom McGruby here. Sean Guinness. Super Bowl is this Sunday. Let's see y'all's predictions. Mr. Dixon? Super Bowl Sunday. Who you got winning? Come on now. Come on now. Ooh, shit. Uh, Red Kingdom, you know? What's the score prediction? Score prediction? I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say 28 21. All right, what's your Super Bowl prediction? Um, I think the Eagles are going to win because they have really good defense. Mm, what's uh, what's your score prediction? Like yeah. Um, I'm going to say like a 14, like three Eagles. Ooh. Super Bowl is this Sunday. Who you got? Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> score prediction? 21-10. Who's performing at Super Bowl? I don't even know. Rihanna. All right, Coach, what's your Super Bowl predictions? Uh, Kansas City Chiefs by 14. Eric Bieniemy is going to call a great game. The OC. Yo. Yo. What's your score prediction for the Super Bowl? 60 to 40 who? Eagles. Eagles or Chiefs? Chiefs. What's the score prediction? 35-28. Simple question. Chiefs or Eagles? Um, I believe in Hurts. I got Eagles. I got... I got 14... 14-10. Eagles defense is nice, but so is the Chiefs offense. Mahomes is crazy. I'm going to say Eagles 28-24. It's a close game, man. Uh, this Sunday is the Super Bowl. Who do you got winning? Kansas City Chiefs. What's the score prediction? Kansas City, 35. Philadelphia Eagles, 28. I heard you had a celebrity crush on the team. Um, who would that be? Travis Kelsey. Travis. Man, I got the Eagles over the Chiefs. Um, Jalen Hurst is going to put the hurt on the Chiefs. Good luck. How about you, bro? Oh, I'm going to have to go Chiefs on this one, man. Chiefs <laughs> looking too solid, man. Every year. Every year. What about you, Carlos? I got the Bengals on this one. <laughs> they, they, they. How about you, man? Let's keep it a buck. We already know it's going to be Eagles. Chiefs. Eagles or Chiefs? I hate the Chiefs. I'm going to go with the Eagles. <laughs> Chiefs. 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 Eagles. Chiefs. Eagles. Um, I, don't, I don't really watch football, so uh, I guess I'll go with Chiefs. I don't know. Are you serious right now, bro? Chiefs. The Chiefs. I think it's the Eagles. Eagles. Chiefs all the way. Chiefs. Chiefs. Eagles. Eagles. The Chiefs. Eagles. 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 All right, Eagles. Uh, Chiefs. Fly, Eagles, fly. I'll just go, I'm gonna go Eagles. That was your guys' predictions, but the most important predictions of all are me and Sean's. I got the Chiefs winning 35 to 28. I got the Eagles winning 42 to 35. Let's see who wins on Sunday. Sadie's tickets are on sale now. Almond is taking over the brand new Boomers Park on February 24th from 7 to 11 p.m. The park is closed to the public and only Almond students who purchase a ticket can join on in the fun. Your ticket includes a limited slick track and go-kart arcade games, mini golf, and food and soft drinks. The last day to purchase tickets is next Thursday, February 16th. And speaking of Sadie's... Hi, Sean. <laughs> That's why the thing's off. That's why she's recording. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Here, camera. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Give me a bitch, though. Go. Well, that's all we have for this week, Lancers. Have a super Friday and awesome weekend.